It's been a busy 24 hours for Denver police. Four shootings resulting in three deaths and two injuries in the span of about nine hours. But you wouldn't know it from police scanners. Last month, DPD joined dozens of other agencies in Colorado and across the country by encrypting their scanners. They offer the media access if they sign an agreement with certain terms, but no major outlet has. Instead, reporters found out about three of the shootings in nearly identical tweets with little additional information. So let's go 360 on Denver's police encryption. DPD says this is about safety for officers, witnesses, and victims. A Freedom of Information advocate says those scanners are important, while a former DPD lieutenant turned professor can see both sides. It's disappointing that this is being mischaracterized. Denver Police Chief Paul Pazin is angry with how this encryption is being portrayed. We worked very hard since uh, for eight months trying to come up with a solution. For Pazin, this is all about safety for police officers, victims, and witnesses, so their personal details or location isn't being broadcasted. Pazin says DPD has done all it can to include the media and thinks the agreement they ultimately offered was fair. The ball is completely in the media's court. Uh, on this, we have shown good faith time and time uh, again uh, on this. In full transparency, Denver 7 mistakenly published legal documents containing a defendant's contact information during a recent report. We quickly took it down. That information was not obtained from a scanner, though. That limits the public's right to know. Uh, what's going on with their police department. For the Colorado Freedom of Information Foundation. Part of the issue here is that you don't know what you don't know. We may not know the true consequences of encrypting scanners now, but it is having an effect. It makes it more difficult for uh, reporters to cover breaking news, to do their job, to inform the public, and to hold police agencies accountable. I think it's really important that the public understand what is being lost here when, when you do go silent. They're not trying to completely cut the news media out. Dr. James Ponzi, a former DPD lieutenant, can see both sides. For law enforcement... If somebody is looking to ambush a police officer, they, they know exactly where all the police are going to be if they have a scanner that's unencrypted. But he also understands there could be backlash. And the police department can get a reputation for not being transparent. For Ponzi, the bottom line is... When you talk about transparency, how much information is the public entitled to. For now, the scanners in newsrooms across Denver will remain silent until an agreement can be reached. The relationship between law enforcement and the media to spread information is an important one, but also a tense one right now in Denver. Megan Lopez, Denver 7.